How's it going everyone? Simon here. Hope you're all keeping well out there. Um it's the eleventh of the sixth, two thousand and fifteen and it's half three. Um Yeah, it's a Thursday, so um this is basically just a quick tutorial video on how to get certain repaints in your map. Like if you want repaints to show on the AI buses basically. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Um but first of all I'll just have a look and check and see what's happening on the news. Um, home. Let's see. Um, in regards news for OMZ two, there was two patches yesterday and today, so it's up to two point two point one two one or something like that. Um, they fixed something like the AI traffic and the emergency vehicles. Not a big patch, but I think it was something to do with the way the AI reacts in the Chicago map that's why he had to fix this one so because Chicago has kind of a special uh, special kind of what's the word uh, AI list type basically um, I think that's why the Marcel and Janine had to fix that so this map would come out and I think that's what's delaying the release of the actual map the Chicago map because it was supposed to be out yesterday it was supposed to be out today well there was rumors going around that it was supposed to be out on the 10th or the 11th but as you, can, as you know yourself, it's not out, and they said they're not bringing it out this week. So I, I guess they're just going to test it out on this new patch on OMSI 2. So that's the only thing I can think of, you know, with these special vehicle groups that they need to adapt with uh, Darius's vehicle group. So I guess we'll see anyway in the future. So hopefully it'll be next week or the week after. They said it won't be this week anyway, so we just have to move on, I guess. Um, in terms of other news, again, not much from the last video, so I'm not going to kind of waffle on about the news today I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here now at the moment I'm going to just open OMSI 2 hopefully I oh know it's updating isn't it yeah there's an update look maybe I can just queue it now DayZ is updating as well GTA is updating oh my god I have a lot of updates there maybe it'll let me play OMSI will it just for a second uh, launch game as it's ready okay I can't play OMSI so um, we have to do without that for now because of the updates or is it going to let me no it's going to let me I think no I just want to kind of show you what's happening like what I'm going to do here for example like I'm going to use the map um, Felsham I think I've done it before because people have been asking me how to get the repaints on the, the AI buses so I'm going to show you today how it's done it's very easy this way to do it. There's no change in buses or anything like that, so it's very, very easy. So hopefully OMZ loads for me. I should have really loaded it um, before I've done this video, but sure. What can I, do? I can kind of show you now while I'm waiting on OMZ to load. Basically, right, you go into your Steam, your, no, your, Steam, your OMZ directory, and you go to Maps. So when you do that, so it's... Uh, program files 86 steam steam apps common omsi 2 maps and then the map you want to change the vid the, the paint on the repaint i'm just going to load this map without buses quickly because i want to kind of show you is this is the map i'm going to be using as an example so i just want to kind of show you is what the actual story is in regards to this so basically back to this so back when you're in your your maps folder you you come to your maps you have your berlins or whatever maps you have installed on the what's that map oh yeah yeah whatever map you have installed on your game or on in your game then it's going to be here so today for example i'm just doing this fell shim fell shim fell shim fell shim we'll say fell shim this fell shim map so basically when you click into your Felsium map, you're gonna get this screen. So we, I don't know whether I can make it bigger. No, I can't. So I'll just put it back to the way it was. Oops. Yeah, there. So basically, hang on. Do I kind of get large icons? You're gonna click on AI list. No, maybe a large icon's not so good. Oh. Oh. Oops. Okay. Okay, I don't know what I'm after doing here. Anyway, we'll just leave it at that. It doesn't matter. 
so when you kind of when you see your you click on your AI list which is here and you're gonna get this you know so you're gonna get the AI group 2 normal cars blah blah so I'm just gonna open the bombs here so basically all the buses in this map have this repaint you know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the Dublin repaint and um, they will hopefully use that so I'm just gonna log out of Omsi now. That's all I wanted to show you, it's just to prove that the buses are using them um them repaints. So basically you come in here. Again, I'm gonna start again just to show you what I meant. So basically you come into your OMSI, so you go to your local disk C. Okay, I'll give you time to do that. I'm gonna kinda go over it as you are doing it. Then you click on program files eighty six. So Local disk C gets you this. Now yours will be different depending on what kind of computer you have. Then you click Program Files 86, which is down here. Then you go down to S and you find your Steam folder, which is there. You can press S at this rate. Just press S and it should automatically go down to the start of S. You find your Steam. Then you press S again. And when you're in your Steam folder, you find your Steam Apps folder, which is down here. So that's program files 86 steam steam apps then when you're in here you should see something like this again these folders will be here but maybe not this stuff won't be i don't know people are even just clicking common and then it'll have all your steam games so whatever games you have so you click in omsi 2 then in omsi 2 this is your main hub which i spoke about before in videos then you just go into your maps basically whatever map you want to change a lot of maps are different their AI lists are different and they're harder so I'm not really a good expert on the AI lists but that they can't be that hard to change so it's pretty simple if you don't want to be changing buses just changing repaints like so um, so yeah so basically when you're in this one you pick the map you want so for example I'm just gonna pick this Felsham one and um, when you're in here, yours will be different because I don't know what I'm about to do with mine. Okay, it's back to normal now. Um, you'll see the AI list CFG file. So basically, this is going to be the AI list file you're going to be using and you're going to be editing. So you just click, double click that. If you, if it's not opening with tech with Notepad, you have to right click, right click on the actual. Uh, Thing and just open with and then automatic and manually choose notepad so you just click on that and you'll basically you'll have this little screen here with these things um, now what you're looking for is your AI group so you have your normal cars you don't really need to change anything there you can if you want but I wouldn't be putting buses or anything in there this is just for AI vehicles like you know like cars and um, the old 80s cars then you have your ambulances or your special cars um, they could be anything I guess taxis or police then down here you have emergencies with your ambulance and another police directive so basically you're looking at uh, AI group type 2 so you have your AI group depot type 2 and basically when you see that you can see underneath then it says vehicles man LL NLNG man GEN 92 main bus so basically this group is using that bus the NL EN 92 basically so if you have a repaint like that you wanted to use for that bus, basically you have to get the name of it and put it in where this one is here. So basically change it. Just see the way it says Felsham there? Just change it to whatever you want. But you cannot just write it in normally. So basically you have to go back out. Just click here again into your, your maps folder and you click back. And you click back again out to your OMSI directory. Now you go down to your vehicles folder, so it's uh, this one down here. Click in there, so basically this is where all your vehicles are. You scroll down to the bus you're looking for. So the bus you're looking for is the Man N L E N. So you go down, and then you find the Man L L N L N G, or whatever it's called. Yeah. So basically, see what you're doing now is you see when you if you go just check your uh, AI list again. You can see that you're going into the folder vehicles. Then you're looking for the bus folder man LLNG, which is here. And then you're looking for the man END92.main bus. So when you click in here, this bus is in here as you can see there. 
But what you're doing is you're looking to change a repaint. So what you do is you go into the texture folder. Okay, so you click in texture, and then you're going to where, where bung, where bung, where bung, uh, en ninety two. So you're just clicking into this folder. It should be the same for everybody. It shouldn't be any different. So you're clicking into that and you're looking for the repaint CTI file basically so if you're looking for a stagecoach repaint then you have to basically look for the CTI file the CTI file might not open with the notepad but again you have to open it with the notepad otherwise it won't work so basically it's this file here see it's like it's not a DDS file or a BMP it's a CTI so when you click on it basically you have all this stuff here so what I'm looking for here now as an example is the Dublin one so I found the Dublin CTI file now yours again will be different you could be looking for Stagecoach or Eva whatever you know so you click and open that with notepad and basically this is what you're going to be with most repaints this is what you're going to be looking at you know basically just these three little little things so ba to change a repaint you need the name of the repaint you want to change from the CTI file if you know what I mean so we have the AI list here okay I'm just gonna close, move this over and that says Felstrom okay so that the guy who done this AI list the, the author got that name from a CTI file basically so he copied and pasted from the CTI file of DNL basically here's the Felstrom CTI file right so what he done was he just copied right click copy and then paste it into the AI list so that's what I'm gonna do now with the the Dublin so basically I'm just gonna right I'm gonna copy right click and make sure you're getting the underneath item but you don't you only need to do it once basically so you get this and then you overlap this then you do that then you do that then you do that then you do that now I do it an easier way I usually do it in Excel but you can do it um, you can do it in um like this if it's not it's not many lines like you know so so you just keep doing it like that so basically if you save this now and uh, go over and start up the map the NL the EN92 bus should have the Dublin um, the Dublin paint on it okay so basically it's that easy like it's really really easy you just have to make sure you're getting your Dublin from the CTI file and not just writing it on that zone because some way there's some invisible part there where it's already saved in the CTI file you know okay so again so that's that one that's the first lot done so basically the next group is AI group depot type group 2 it's the same thing it's vehicles man NL NG it's a GN92 which is the bendy bus so again if you have the repaint for the bendy bus basically what you're doing is just going out and you're going into this one then the Werbung GN92 again you're looking for the Dublin CTI file which is here and you are basically opening up your open up your, your highlighting your AI list again and again you're just gonna highlight this Dublin one right click copy and paste it in like V control V control V control V V it's it's that easy guys it really is you just have to have to repaint your want there's no point wanting to repaint say for an Ariva M NLG92 and not not having it in the actual NLG92 texture list anyway so that's that done basically it's that was I just done this one because it's an easy AI list so you just right uh, you just file save and then just close it over so if I go back to my maps now so you go back go back again go back again and go back again you have maps felsum AI list and it has Dublin basically so I'm gonna just close out that I'm gonna highlight OMSI if it lets me did I update it did it update I don't know so it's really kind of it's it's quite easy to do it but some AI lists are a bit more tricky like for example Bodingham 
people would like to have Bowlingham in all its glory and in all its their the natural like me for example look Bowlingham to be all Dublin, but for some reason I can't do it. You know, because like I did all this and I changed all these before to Dublin, but for some reason it, it failed on me. And also, Dub uh, Bowlingham has Chrono events. So basically, the, if you go into your Chrono events, they all have an, an AI list too, you know, so it's a bit of a nightmare. So I'm just going to load map it out. Buses. Start. And go back to the, the depot. So that's pretty much it, lads. Like it's, it's, I should open this map now, and I should have the buses in the Dublin colours. If not, well then I done something wrong, but I don't think I done anything wrong. Unless RMZ2 was being weird again. I'm just waiting for the screen to go bright again. Unless I broke it. So while it's loading there, I'll just tell you again. So again, local disk C, program files 86, S, Steam, S, Steam apps, common, OMZ2, maps folder, and whatever map you want to click in. But it's always the AI list, the AI list you're looking at anyway, so. Right, let's hope it. See? There we go. All in Dublin. Whew. I'm glad that worked. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So all your AI are going to be in Dublin now. Like the, the Dublin colours. So the Dublin bus uh, routes. You know, so I'm not going to go looking for buses because there's no point. I know they're walking, so there's no point in going looking for anything that's not there, you know. But I hear a bus, do I? Oh yeah, there. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That's how it's done. That's how you get the the buses in their colours and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully this helps you and uh, you can do it. It's pretty easy when you have an easy AI list like, like I just had, but Again, that could be trouble, you know. Sometimes you could have a broken CTI file or a corrupt one and you end up having a white bus or a silver bus. So it's a bit of a nightmare in that case. So, but in other words, it's other day, like, see how easy that was? It just took a few minutes for me to do that. And I can now drive this map with Dublin if I want, you know. So just make sure that the, the only thing, make sure you take the name of the the repaint you're using from your CTI file and put it in the AI list. Just copy it over. So, I hope this helps, and um, I hope to get some positive comments from it. Let me know how you get on, and I can see if I can help you any other way if there's problems. Now, in regards, as I said, Bodingham, I don't know whether I can do anything with that because it's really, really hard with Chrono events and stuff. But you know, I, I will. I'll hopefully work on it and see if I can get around the butcher. Sure. I'll see anyway. So, uh, so thanks guys, and I shall talk to you again soon. Alright, bye bye.